Oh, hey, Caleb. Oh, hey, Charlie. Hello? Yeah, my friend's been looking up from his phone. Okay. So 24 hours? Honestly, I think I'm a bit. Alright. Wait a second. I'm the guy who broke my phone. What are you talking about? I just tripped over you yesterday. You were sleeping on the ground like a lunatic. That doesn't mean I broke your phone. Wait. Wait a minute. You just don't look at your phone. No, I, I, I need to talk to you. Meet me at the top of that mountain later today. What are you talking about? Wait, where are you going? Oh, hey. Why aren't you on your phone? I was told to stay off of it for 24 hours. Okay. Yeah, it's different. Well, that makes two of us. Nice to meet you. Charlie, we need to talk. Deborah, is that you? Uh, no, it's Charlie. He pulled me aside earlier, said we needed to talk. Oh, yeah. You're the kid who broke his phone. I mean, yeah, but I'm getting it fixed. You're not supposed to be looking up on the phone. Well, what, what am I supposed to do? It's Broken. It's not like Back in my day, we didn't even have phones. All we had was a piece of bread and some paint. Trust me, the outside world is more boring than your phone. Do you agree on that? Uh, I'm sorry, what? Do you agree on that? Uh, yeah. Uh, listen, I, I, I gotta go. What are you talking about? Did you tell anyone? I don't know what you mean. I was just confronted by a freaking lunatic who also happens to be the creator of Pineapple. Pineapple? Come on, man, this is serious. What did he tell you? Just said I couldn't leave. And you left? Yeah, but why does it matter? Okay, we need to go. We got a juicy pineapple in the bird's nest. Juicy pineapple in the bird's nest. We got a juicy pineapple in the bird's nest. Juicy pineapple in the bird's nest. On it. Why are we going up this mountain? There's, there's this guy. Tell me to meet him here.
Did you just destroy that robot? Yeah, I just killed myself a robot. It's pretty easy. I'll teach you in a minute, but I gotta do something real quick. Oh, no. Shh, 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 shh. I gotta do something, like I just said. Hold up. I just, I just want to get something going real quick. So all these robots, here it is. All these robots have these tracker things. I think I need to get rid of them. There's got to be one or two of them in here. Hold on real quick. Let me find this tracker. There it is. Here's the other tracker. Now, let's get to business. You know what, actually, uh, I take that back. We're not getting to business quite yet. I kind of want to, I like the look of this thing, so uh, hold on. That looks cool, I'm keeping lying. So, there are three simple things you need to know about this situation. So, good to meet you. My name is Ben. Thing you should know is those robot things they will try to kill you no matter what except for one thing if you chop off their head what you can do by hitting them in the neck second thing you need to know Billy Business is a rich CEO of Pineapple that company that makes your phones third thing you need to know Billy Business wants you dead but the thing is you won't let that happen and also you can't go back to normal society because you are now wanted by Billy Business so, now what you need to do is break into Billy Business's lair and steal his phone, because his phone has access to like everything you could possibly imagine, and that way you can stop him. Simple plan, but it'll work. That was a lot of exposition. Shut up, dude. Oh, by the way, I'm not coming with you. I'm, I'm done dealing with this Billy Business dude. I'm just leaving. Goodbye. So you're just gonna leave? But where's the gun? We could use it. Oh, the gun? I threw it off the cliff. The robots don't care if you shoot at them. They just keep fighting. But look what I got from that robot. I got these cool gloves. Now I look like some biker dude. Okay, bye. So what do we do? Well, I guess we'll just do what he told us to do. Dad, I'm leaving. Well... This is it. Maybe if we just walk up to one of the robots, it won't recognize us and we just forget this whole thing. I mean, we can try that. But uh, what happens if he does recognize us? <laughs> yeah, let's hope not. Hey, hey, you kids, stop, 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 okay. Hi. My name's Todd. My, I'm Charlie and this is Caleb. Oh, okay. I don't care what your name is. I know what you're here for though. You're here to see Billy. Well, you know what? I'll show you where Billy is. Follow me. if I go to business somehow, and unless you have any brighter ideas. <sighs> Fine. Hey Billy, you got some visitors here for you. Really business? Wait, you're not Deborah. Todd Cuffle. Wait, 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 what? He weren't playing. Fort! Tom! Give me the right to race to 505! Uh, Billy, you're always getting into trouble. <laughs> Give me the help. Now! You know what? I was so scared, it scared the poop out of me. Caleb, you monster!
bud. Mission accomplished. Hey, give Billy back his phone. That isn't yours to keep. Ha! Stupid human. That was only a week ago. Oh, now, now. I have a well-defined weakness. <laughs> that was good. How am I supposed to clean this up now? I took my phone. Get me a car, Todd! Charlie, you done better stop it. Well, Deborah, this is getting real interesting. Charlie, you can't run, you can't hide, and you can't save any. I have your phone. I can literally deactivate every single phone that you and your company has ever created. I know. I have backup. This phone, just like your phone. Except it blows up every phone that I've ever made. You've lost. I have been. You can't do anything. And Caleb is dead. Caleb. You're alive? Yeah. How? How did you defeat me? You're just three dumb kids. One more thing before I go. Ah! <laughs> Mr. Business, your shift has just ended. Thank <laughs> you.